Hi everyone. Got this flag of summer. I'm hearing the song uh, Sweet Jane in my head right now. Sweet, sweet Jane. Sweet Jane. Sweet, sweet. I don't know. I just, I heard it for a second. It says, trust that there's a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from negative emotions of others, focusing on that which frightens or worries you. Okay. So judging from the emails I, that I've been getting lately, um, there are a lot of people kind of freaking out and it's understandable. There's been big shifts, um, within connections I haven't been moved to make a divine masculine, divine feminine twin flame reading in a while. And, um, but I just got up from a nap and in my dream space, uh, you know, I received a you know, message. So I'm coming up to do this, share it, see how it comes out. I've also been, um, guided to start off with the fairy Oracle. So Do that. This is about faith, okay? And I say it all the time. It's pretty much a repeated message, but this is because it has gotten so deep lately, okay? Divine feminines, um, the need for you to be stepping more and more into your power is where your focus needs to be. Okay. You are setting up what you are. Yeah. Your divine purpose is what I just heard. Um, you cannot be distracted by that. Some of you needed to have the divine masculine removed like completely from you so that you could focus on what you need to focus on. Um, yeah, I'm hearing this is a temporary situation, temporary meaning different things for every single one of you. Divine Masculine. I'm hearing the rise of the Divine Masculine. And then they reminded me of that, that video I did um, a couple days ago. And I titled it, it was just a WhatsApp message. It was just a random message. It said, um, the rise of the Emperor. So... If you haven't checked out that video, check that out. Because divine, yeah, it's getting down to the nitty gritty with the divine masculine. That's what I'm hearing. Shell shook. He's shell shook. I don't know what's what's happened. I know um, there's big changes, big shifts in both. Both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I do feel that there's many Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine that are not in communication right now. And if you do communicate, it's very briefly. Platonically. All right. One for the Divine, Ma divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, connection in between. One card for Divine Feminine, please. Where is Divine Feminine currently? Yeah, got my money on my mind, my mind on my money. Divine feminine, feminines, right where you need to be. And this, this is, this is taking all your strength and power to focus on this. And this is what's required of you to be put into this. It says, be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way, a good person or company to work for. Yeah. So, divine feminines. This goes with what I'm saying. It's like. Your focus is on your money. Your focus is on your future, your stability, where you stand, where you stand within that. Um, whatever you're diving into, here's this dog here. Dogs are all about loyalty. Some of you might even have a, um, a German shepherd. I just heard that, but many of you have, um, soul connections with your dogs. Yeah, there's like a lot of, um, the animal connection, your, with like pets, whatever kind of pets, like the animate, 
animals, um, pay attention to animals around you and that, and how your animals are, are acting around you. They're, they're offering extra support because it, it's crucial right now. I mean, it's like, there's really great things happening, but then the, the, there's been such a dramatic shift over this last month with the divine masculine that it's been heartbreaking and divine feminines. You are riding through it like a fucking champ. Okay. Still feeling it, but taking care of business. And, and that's, um, you know, look, the balance needed for healing. Okay. Okay, one card for Divine Masculine. Here we go. Four of Summer. Here he is. Knowing. With the Four of Autumn. Holding back. And let's see what this is say. Being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity. Taking someone or something for granted. Discontentment with life. And this one says, manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate. Yeah, so divine masculines, you're getting both fours here, both four of summer, which is like the four of cups and the four of autumn. And um, this is what I meant. Like they're saying, yeah, this is down to the nitty gritty. Like they are feeling it. They are feeling the remorse. They are um, heartbroken as well. Divine Feminines, you're heartbroken over here, but you're using it to your advantage because you have grown and healed so much along this journey that um, you know how to yeah, work it out now. Like um, You're no longer staying stuck, even though you want to. And even if you are, even if you feel yourself digressing like into that behavior of like sinking into... Um, stuck and depressed and lonely, you know, those kinds of things. Um, this is the time to really dig deep and to push into your faith and just focus on you, not in an angry way, not in a, not in a bitter way, you know, because you're not he hearing from your divine masculine or whatever happened with the divine masculine. A lot, a lot of divine feminines have just, ex the last, um, encounter with your divine masculine was, um, Hearing, I'm trying to hear the words. I'm hearing. They said three different things, but I can't make it out. But basically, um, like emasculating or something. Degrading. Some of you have been extremely humiliated by your. Divine masculine. Like betrayal to the ultimate. And right now the divine masculine is a little bit in his feelings. So it's like he's seeing the harms done, but not taking initiative to change it due to you know, he's a little bit stuck in his own, like, mess right now. Because it says, being distracted and failing to see, yeah, look, his, as I say, his mess, here's the ego card, taking someone or something for granted, because he knows he's in the wrong. I feel like he's a little bit um, nervous about apologizing. Although tapping into this energy, yeah, look, totally stressing out up at night. He's, he's transforming too. You know, it's getting down to the nitty gritty. He's really, really feeling. The, these divine masculines are in their feelings big time. And this is like when they're in their, in yeah. And look at this angel down here, like trying to get this this fairy's attention the angel's like please please notice me let you know take our assistance some of them are still being extremely stubborn and reluctant all right give me one card for the connection yeah 
It's a burden. It's a burden on both sides. But justice is coming in. It says, take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end fair and objective decisions. So there is an outcome coming that is going to benefit both sides here. The center says, ask for help from others. All work, no play, being weighed down by too many responsibilities. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. Both, divine masculine and divine feminine, you both need to ask for help for two reasons. Some of you are needing um, business assistance to grow your business, to er educate yourself more, to um, move up in your business, or to expand your business. There's also, yeah, see, everybody is like pretty much like fighting to keep their heads up, but still willing to fight. This is also, you're being asked to still keep up your strength. This is the guy that's like, you know, he may be wounded, but he's still standing there protecting what is his. Okay. This is what's being asked of you. Both of you. Yeah. This is what you want. You know, this 10 of Pentacles life, you know, to start a new cycle of life, close out the old one. Okay. But this isn't just about finances asking for help. This is about your personal issues as well. Finding someone um, safe and reliable to talk to that you can share your um, emotions with and get things out, bounce back. Somebody that's going to give you, um, that's completely outside of your, your relationship that can give you um, direction, a release of the pain because Divine feminines, even if you're you're really into your work, you know, um, this can get that can go still get into um you just want to make sure. I just feel like there there might be some of you that that are using work too, too much as, as a distraction and not allowing yourself to to heal, you know, and cry and feel it, you know. Be extra, extra sensitive to yourself. Both both sides here. No, they, they just, <laughs> here's the tower. They just said, no, like um, divine masculines, it's time to step it up. It's like, there's, they're just crying and stuck over here. You know, it says unfound fear, focusing on the worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. Divine Masculine, I feel that you need to ask God for help. And for a while you were, but you know what? Everybody gets sidetracked. And I feel like you started feeling pretty good and things were going pretty good and you were distracted by whatever was going good for a while. And, um, but something's happened recently. You've been seeing, cause look at this, look at how she's, look at how they're looking at each other here. Okay. Here's Divine Feminine. Showing up as the king of autumn, divine feminines, you're pretty well grounded. You're looking good. You're, um, you know, thinking straight. Look, look at him sitting there in his, in his throne. He's not worried about anything, but look at how he's like looking over here and look at how she's looking over at him. Like, what did I do? You know, watching the divine feminine, like, and, and, and she looks a lot smaller than him, you know? So it's like divine feminines, I feel like you're really sticking out and looking good. Divine masculines are 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 watching and seeing and and not really I feel almost like like this feels like like this divine masculine is taking offense to it, honestly. It's time to start praying again, divine masculine. For those of you that have possibly um stopped or not been doing it as much as you normally do <sighs> something happened for the divine masculine here over this uh last full moon and there's some between last full moon and next full moon there's going to be big major um awarenesses this divine mat the energy i'm getting now is so proud it's, it's just so 
they they don't they're completely it's like they feel like they did the right thing and they don't understand why the why why the divine feminines over here looking so good and it feels like rubbing it in the divine masculine's face but that's not like what's happening at all it's like this is this is what this means being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity taking someone or something for granted discontented with life divine masculine i'm going to suggest to ground yourself and to really ask to be shown clearly and truthfully what's going on yeah because see there's like so much conflict around you and this could just be in your head yeah look but you're daydreaming like this is um some of them want to come make a love offer here okay let's see clarify give me a couple of cards a couple more cards here for divine feminine please give me one card for the divine feminine yeah see onwards and upwards divine feminine You've made a choice. You realize you have the world in your hands. Yep. Look at this. It, it, you just can't make it up. Like it's just unbelievable, right? Like there she is divine, divine, divinely feminine, independent and secure, confident, standing there. In all her glory, it's, you know, the one thing about this nine of pentacles, I'm, I'm just, I'm being guided to talk about it is that she does look a little stoic. Okay. But this is, um, I feel, and I'm going to say this for divine masculine so that you understand and for divine feminine, for those of you that are in this like stoic energy, you know, it's, it's just, um, it's just a mask is what I'm hearing. And, uh, it basically goes back to that those divine feminines that are using work as a major distraction to not feel just how bad they feel about, um, it's a, you're allowed to cry. Okay. You're allowed to cry. Um, this journey, it, it, it's really, I know personally, like it's ripped my guts out. Okay. I was, uh, awakened to the twin flame path five years ago and my life has never been the same. It's it's gotten so much better, um, but um, I've experienced. It, it takes you down. You know what I mean? Like down into the core of who and what you are. You know, I'll keep it on me. It's taken me down to the core of who I am. Okay, and it's like I can't be mad at that. You know, it always it, I always end up coming back to gratitude. Gratitude for the lesson, gratitude for the pain, gratitude for where I've gone, gratitude for the woman that I am today, because there is no exchange for the wisdom and the healing, because that's what it's also done. It's healed so many parts of my past. You know, it's helped me walk through them. It's helped me face them. Okay. Better, not bitter, because there's a little bitterness here. Okay. And that's, that's what I feel like I'm being guided to, to talk and, and bring out to the, um, you know, in your face a little bit, you know, because, um, this journey is so much about healing, you know, and, and that's, that's why I feel like I'm here is like share my experience so that, you know, I can help everybody like move through, you know, everybody that watches these anyway, move through and heal to get on to, with the next phase of your life. You know, I'm, I'm letting the, the d divine masculines know. I feel a little bit like, like I'm being, my words can't come out. Even if you see your divine feminine as being this like queen of swords where she's like a little bit bitter don't don't let that keep you away from speaking to her she wants to talk to you she's not even gonna yell at you because i feel like i don't know there's some divine masculine over here that still don't even understand like what they did wrong 
right, give me another, um, but there's other divine masculine that I'm picking up here that, that know exactly what happened, but now they're just like thinking there's nothing they can do about it. And there is, don't be scared. There's nothing to be scared of. This is your counterpart. Divine feminines. I've, I feel the this connections I'm speaking to right here. These divine feminines are not divine feminines that when you call or approach them, they aren't going to be like, well, what the fuck are you calling me for? No, these divine feminines that I'm speaking about, these divine feminines are healed and, and have grown and are way beyond that on our, and are completely capable of having a conversation back and forth. So be brave, divine masculine. As independent as she may be, she's better with her counterpart next to her. Yeah, look, it's this judgment card. As I'm as I'm talking to you, divine masculine, it's like there's um, the judgment card's about second chances. And renewals, bringing something back from the dead. Like here's this King of Swords. It's like, here are you, you know, Demi Lovato, Stone Cold. That's how you're gonna go out. <laughs> I don't know. That's what's like coming to my head here. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. This is what you're stressing out about. Seek. I'm hearing. Seek the truth. Seek the truth. All right, give me another card here for the Divine Masculine. Stuck. All your cards are stuck and worried in your head. Hidden emotions. But something's about to be clarified. I don't know if you're trying to figure out how to say it, Divine Masculine, or... What's going to be clarified is what you are being blind eyed to. I feel like it depends on whether or not you are the divine masculine that um, is perfectly aware of where you've gone wrong or yeah, look at this. Or you are the divine masculine still over here look, watching your divine feminine and, and like just like totally confused by why she's not talking to you and even though you're like doing your own thing, you know, you know what I mean? Let's see. But you got a judgment card over here to buy masculine. It's time to make a choice. All right. Give me a card for the connection, please. One card for the connection. Oh, we got two. Okay. So this is, I'm hearing a hidden beginning, secret message. This is fighting for what you want, standing up for what you want, what you believe in. There's some sort of communication that's coming in, hidden communication, something. Um, there is a hidden new beginning. Um, yeah, I just got like intuition because this is the high priestess, okay? She She's more than just a secret. This is the knowing, okay? I feel like there's a deep knowing within both of them that there is a, is a new beginning here. I'm going to get another, let me see. Let's clarify this. Yeah, um, um, all of a sudden these things just like look like elephant ears opening up. So it's like, listen, and it's like, listen to what you listen to your heart. Okay. Ooh, this is deep. And how are you going to listen to your heart? You have to sit still. You have to sit still, you know, and ask, ask for it to, so you can hear it. You know what I mean? You have to be still enough to hear it. Give me another card here for the connection. Ten of 
Ten of Cups. This is the end. Look at this. There's definitely a new beginning here. Okay, there's a choice. There's somebody is going to be released. I just saw the sword, like they show me, like cutting through the chains. Whatever the feeling of being bound. That feeling is what needs to be diminished between the two of them. It's it's not about feel being together because it's like you feel you can't live without each other. It's being together independently. Yeah. Let's see, this is, there's healing just still going on, healing right now. But that's the Ten of Cups twice. There's going to be a healing over this addiction to each other to where it becomes more pure, a purification of the connection. That's what's happening right now. If I mean, that's what's happening in the middle. The focus needs to be on your own emotional fulfillment on each side. Divine Masculine is staying stuck in worry over here, okay? I mean, the devil side came out over here. It's like that for you, Divine Masculine, it's like letting your brain get the, most, the best of you, your thoughts. Yeah. Okay, but here's the start. You're both being directed separately together. All right, give me one card here. But look at look at how I I did this. Like this is like how these cards ended up being laid out. Like th this is what it is, okay? This is on the divine masculine and this is on the divine feminines because she is coming together. Okay, she is balanced within. Okay, but this is also this healing. There's there's truth that comes in, and 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 it's going to to sever that the need the, that that um, feeling like you can't live without each other because that's that's what needs to heal. It's like you can live without each other. You you belong together. But you need to be independent together. There's a thin line between love and hate. That came through in another reading as well. Okay, but let's get one card here for Divine Feminine. Yeah, see? Look, this is my card for... So some of you have recently separated from your Divine Masculine. Or you are in separation, like I said. Um, but this is not a separation that's being enjoyed on either side. It's it's not something that's wanted. Make the effort. Let me see. Give me one more here. Yeah, unrequited love and wedding. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, and that's. That's why, that's why I'm saying like some of these separations were, it was humiliating. It was degrading. Some of you may decide to get married to somebody else or you may have married somebody else. is also about leaving your connection. Some of you divine feminines are still in a connection that needs to be ended. 
but it's like you're not letting go because you haven't seen any any movement from your divine masculine and that that's that's not okay because you're not being fair to who you're staying attached to either you know what i mean like they deserve to be set free as well all right give me one card for divine masculine over here chemistry yeah because he's I almost used the sexual tarot, but it, I didn't because I felt that energy. But this is this is what the divine masculine has to get past. You know, it's like he doesn't know how to express himself. I think, yeah, let go of control issues. It's like he's hoping um, and let your friends help you. I'm telling you, divine masculine, you seriously need to pray. Ask your friends for help. Those friends that can give you an unbiased opinion about what you're doing. There are divine masculine over here that need to separate as well from um, a partner. But I feel like there's kids involved. Every time I get this let go of control issues, I mean, look how this woman is like holding the child. And he's over here watching like, fine, that's how you're going to be. You're going to play dirty. Like, I feel like there's a woman playing dirty here. Okay be woman or man but whatever that's not for everybody it's just that's what i get here let's get one for the connection and it's what's keeping him stuck over here it's like this divine masculine the one that like is like kind of oblivious and not really understanding why his divine feminine isn't talking to him and then he sees her like doing so well and um but she's not talking to him it's like He's, he's kind of, I'm hearing he's got his head stuck up his ass. Somebody does <laughs> anyway. And it's in regards to this connection here, they're letting something else like trigger them, whatever else, what other issues, outside issues they're dealing with. All right. Give me one card for the connection, please. Children. Told you. There's some divine feminine over here um, staying in a connection due to children as well. Your love life is being affected by children. It's like there's 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 two connections here. There's one that's being divinely guided for um, towards love and abundance, and there's another connection over here that's just holding you down and making you feel suffocated. The truth is in between. It's like swallowing your truth. How are you going to get there? Meditation, prayer and meditation is going to bring you to your emotional fulfillment. You're going to know what your truth is. Deep down inside, you already know. You feel it. Let yourself have it. All right, let's get a couple cards from the Divine Masculine. These are those... Um, Divine Masculine Messages from um, Awakened Twin. The, I guess, divine Feminine Messages from the Divine Feminine. Yeah, by Awakened Twin. This is Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I love these cards. So, okay, let's get a couple messages from the Divine Masculine, please. A couple messages from the Divine Masculine. I'm not giving up on us. My karmic situation is ending. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm feeling hopeful. In between is worry. All right, one more. Here we go. My karmic situation is ending, so that's being clarified. Please be patient with me. All right. And the Divine Feminine. Messages from the Divine Feminine. A couple messages from the Divine Feminine. My path will continue to be revealed to me. Yeah, because a lot of us Divine Feminine, we don't know where, we're, where it's headed. And it's not time to focus on where it's headed. It's just time to do what's in front of you to do. That six-inch view. I've made many videos on it on those um, 
in the one um, what's up messages. I made a couple of them about the six inch view and the faith, you know, that limp biscuit kind of faith. It's like dive into your faith and of who you are and, and, and it's your path will continue to be revealed to me. Do what's in front of you to do. All right. Two more cards. Press the bottom of the deck for the, the divine feminine. Cut out toxicity. This is why you know that you can't go back. You know, I feel like you're able to see the toxicity in others like, like that, like on in one conversation, you're like, nope, like, you know, whether or not somebody gets to stay or leave your life, continue to do this. Okay. Because it's not time to be weighed down. You know, the, um, we're getting a lot of downloads and upgrades, you know, whether or not you, you relate to that or not. I mean, if you're watching this channel, I'm sure that you do, but, um, I know that I do have newly awakened people watching my channel as well. So, but, um, it's, it's a lot just to, um, transform yourself. Okay. We ain't got time for this toxicity. Okay. This is also why you had to walk away from the divine masculine. Yeah. I just heard not one more time, whatever it was, it couldn't happen. Not one more time. All right, one more card for Divine Feminine plus the bottom of the deck, please. And this is about your behavior as well. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's some there's some Divine Feminines. I'm just getting there's like some Divine Feminines focus on their business, but they're like, there there's some that just got this like bitterness in them, and um, you know, better not bitter. That's that's a part that needs to be tucked cut out. Stop talking about other people. Stop bad mouthing your, your divine masculine or your, your baby's father over here, whatever this is, you know, some of you are going through a separation and a divorce and it's like all that stuff, like, no, or, you know, if you're, I mean, I feel like most of the divine feminines that watch my channel are, um, not at the, at, the, at this level, but it's coming out. So there might be still some working through this or at the beginning stages here of, a, of their, um, but it needs to stop. That's basically it. Cause I'm just here. They're, they're showing me like catty women and like, blah, 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 you know, like that needs to stop whether you're doing it with your friends or you're doing it towards your divine masculine or, um, you're talking about work or I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's just like, like a bunch of, they're just showing me like a bunch of, you know, women and, this, you know, going back and forth and that crap needs to cut out gossip. That is toxic behavior. All right. Um, another card here, please, for Divine Feminine. I need to connect with the elementals. So, and I stand by my decisions. So these situations, so there may be like friends or whatever that you need to cut out of your life. And it's like staying true to yourself. And this is also why, um, you stand by your decisions. Okay. And putting yourself first, taking care of yourself, um, doing, um, positive things for yourself to move yourself forward. This is not accepting this kind of behavior anymore. This kind of love, this unrequited love within from anybody separating yourself. I really feel like divine feminines, you are separating yourself from a lot of, um, toxic people in your life. Like, you know, that just keeps coming up. It's like these people that every time you see them, they're just like, there's either like some sort of like jealousy or, you know, there's just something going on. It's like, no, done. No. Other people are coming into your life. 
on both sides. There's there's an opportunity to have other people and new friendship form new friendships here. All right, this is um, I was just moved to get one of these, so I'm gonna get one more, one card here for both of them here for the connection. One card for the connection before we close out. You and your loved ones are safe and conclusions are within reach. Yeah, because. See, there's there's just this level and this is like taking me to this, whatever these like family issues are and these like with your your marriage partners or something, there's like some really there's something kind of dirty happening here. And, and by dirty, I mean, like you're being very cutthroat with each other. And um, so whatever you think might happen, that worst case scenario that you keep on playing out it's not going to happen on either side okay and you're yeah look luck is on your side and um conclusions are within reach for all of you that aren't in communication with your counterparts right now that information is is about to be revealed to you as to why they're about to say something or yeah Wow, you can't make this up. A time to give rather than take. Surrender to the divine. A new romantic cycle. One of balance. Give and take. And it's not just within your um, your twin flame connection. This is also within all your connections. Like I was saying, this unrequited love. Because let's not forget, as twin flame, like we are the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So either side can go to either side, all right? But, um, you know, this unrequited love, it's done all relationships moving in, coming towards us now. It's like we can see that toxicity and know whether or not this is a, this is a place we want to pour our energy into or not. And where you know you're not, you're, you are being guided to stand by that decision and stay away from these people because your intuition is spot on. And then this says your commitment is being tested a time for healing. Believe in the possible. Your commitment is being tested within yourself. Like how much do you want to heal? How, how much for yourself and your own happiness are you really for yourself bitter not no wait better not bitter okay that's what we're striving for ain't, I'm hearing ain't nothing gonna hold me down ain't nothing gonna wait I, I don't know hold me down oh no I got to keep on moving ain't nothing gonna break my stride yeah there you go all right, guys, this is kind of a long one, but that's it. I love you. Have an awesome day. Bye.